Bob Lazar now and for many years he's run a website called unitednuclear.com at United Nuclear you can buy really cool interesting weird stuff like uranium ore if you want to or specialized glassware for different chemistry experiments or running your own chemistry lab or just cool stuff back when I had met Bob I had no idea who he was or what he'd been involved with. You know, he'd been on TV, he had been in many interviews. I didn't know anything about that. All I knew is here's this guy named Bob and he and I had a great time talking. He was impressed that I was into this chemistry stuff and we had a great time. Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you about Bob. Bob was involved in the creation of a hydrogen fuel cell system for cars. A system where you would have a little hydrogen generator, hydrogen gas generator. You just plug in in your garage, not very big machine. I think it was about the size of a mini fridge. And with that hydrogen generator, you could charge up your own little honeycomb pattern design hydrogen tanks. And that honeycomb design, I think was, I mean, I'm talking about the internal part of the tank. I think it had something to do with the structural integrity of the tank. So in the event, you know, you have these tanks in your car full of hydrogen gas, which is flammable, explosive, that, you know, you'd be protected. I had talked to Bob about those, his system that he was developing for that. He was developing it to sell it to the public. And apparently that system could be retrofitted to a car such as my little Honda Civic. I think for maybe about 10 grand and you could run it off hydrogen anytime you wanted and you could run it off normal gasoline anytime you want it without harming anything. So then you have a dual fuel vehicle and you can make the gas in your garage. Anyway, the story goes, and I hope I have this correct, that Bob went and relocated, or at least was talking to major auto manufacturers or financiers or big auto industry people up in the Detroit area, Michigan somewhere. And guess what happened? I, I Well, I, at first I had emailed Bob through his United Nuclear website. I tried to contact him. Say, hey, Bob, remember me? I was the, I was that nutbag who, he was talking to you about chemistry stuff and desert blast and blah, blah, blah. What's going on with that hydrogen fuel cell system? I want to get it. Apparently, I found out through digging online, Bob got raided by the government. And apparently, allegedly, who knows, they took everything related to his hydrogen system. I took it all. Dirt bags, huh? Dirt bags. Does that surprise you? It's just a bummer. It doesn't surprise me. Where would we be? Where could we be? If these technologies and these things that people have discovered weren't hidden from us, what kind of guitars would we be playing? Would we still be playing guitars? 